Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. I'm Captain James Flint. Today we're going to run down the basics of kinetic weaponry, their unique attributes and differences, and all the engineering modifications available to them. Unlike lasers, which are quite similar across types, sizes, and mounts, kinetic hardpoints have extremely different behaviors, not just from the type, but also the size and mount. And some of these changes might even surprise you. So let's get into it. First off, let's cover the basics. Multi-cannons are small caliber Gatling guns with a rotating barrel that fires extremely rapidly, dealing a small amount of damage per round, but many rounds delivered per minute. Each size has its own unique properties and handles differently than other sizes. Class 1 or small multi-cannons have a short spin-up time of around 3 quarters of a second before they begin to fire. Class II medium multi-cannons have just over an entire second delay before reaching maximum spin-up time, and Class III large multis have a painfully long two-second spin-up time before rounds begin leaving the chamber. While all of these are spinning up, they can be heard doing so and can also be pre-spun by an occasional trigger pull and listening to the sound cues. Now, Class IV huge multi-cannons are very different as they aren't Gatling-style weapons. Instead, they have four large fixed barrels that alternate fire from two barrels per shot, two rounds at a time, with no spin-up time. Pulling the trigger will open fire immediately, and luckily, this dual fire setup only depletes one round of ammo from your clip. Cannons have big booms and huge damage per shot, with a naturally high piercing value for their size, but a slow rate of fire and slow velocity projectiles make this hardpoint tricky to connect with. It's common knowledge that the bigger the hardpoint, the more damage it does, and that fixed weapons deal more damage than gimbaled, and gimbaled deal more damage than turrets. But with cannons, a fixed mount has more advantages over gimbaled and turret mounts. All sizes of fixed cannons contain six rounds in the magazine, with 120 rounds in reserve. Gimbaled and turret cannons, on the other hand, only have five rounds in the clip with 100 rounds in reserve. Another unique feature exclusive only to cannons, you have a higher projectile velocity on fixed cannons than you will on gimbaled and turret mounts. Velocity is also different between sizes, but the bigger the class size, the lower the projectile velocity, with a small class one having the fastest and class four being the slowest. Frag cannons are your spaceship-sized shotguns and fire in a wide, scattered spread with limited range and a slow velocity. Unlike cannons, velocity stays the same regardless of class or mount type. Frags can do an unprecedented amount of damage at extremely close ranges but have an extremely long reload time. One interesting point with frag cannons, the jitter values actually dictate the angular cone of the shot spread instead of the center point of the shot like all other hard points. So the higher the jitter, the wider the spread. The jitter values on frag cannons can only be changed by one modification, however. Now let's move on to the modifications. First off, a mod with no negative drawbacks. Efficient is a great choice that lowers power draw and distributor draw. Efficient pairs well with hot running ships or tight on power ships that have downsized power plants, for example. But all of these changes are based on percentages and kinetic weapons have very little power draw and very little heat generation. So these drawbacks are minimal as are the benefits applied to them. High capacity is great for staying power in combat for lengthy amounts of time. Not only does it double your ammo reserves, but also your clip size, allowing higher sustained DPS and a slight boost to your fire rate as well. Just mind the mass increase. A good option for gimbaled and turreted cannons to compensate for their lower ammo reserves than the fixed variant. The lightweight mod cuts the mass of the hardpoint by a large percentage while also reducing power draw and distributor draw nearly as much as the efficient mod, but lowering its integrity by over half. Not recommended for whole tanks, but the best choice for speed-focused builds and explorers who like to pack a little heat. Overcharged is the more power mod and adds a hefty boost to damage output, giving you more damage per round, with a large increase in distributor draw and moderate increase in thermal load. 
While those drawbacks are large in percentage, again, kinetic hardpoints have extremely low distributor draw and heat generation, so the negative aspects of overcharged are almost negligible in most cases. Rapid Fire is quite a fun mod, even if it's not the most practical. While it speeds up reload time and lowers distributor draw alongside increasing fire rate, and increases total DPS almost as much as the overcharge mod, it spends more ammunition per second to achieve this increase. Unfortunately, it also adds a bit of jitter, which can effectively negate the DPS increase due to shots being missed when they would otherwise connect. The penalties from rapid fire on frag cannons are less noticeable as the jitter value is handled differently, as mentioned before. Sturdy is the opposite of lightweight, which doubles the mass of the hardpoint but drastically increases integrity. It also adds a significant buff to piercing, allowing better damage output against hull, as well as a thermal load reduction. This is an excellent choice for hull tanks. Long range doubles your effective range and fall off while adding a bit of extra mass and power draw. While long range is not available on frag cannons, it doubles the projectile velocity on multi cannons and cannons, really shining on the latter, which can be difficult to connect shots at longer ranges without this mod. This velocity increase shrinks the space between your leading reticle and the target making it easier to keep the target in your field of view and decreasing the time it takes for the projectile to reach the target, overall increasing your likelihood of connecting shots. After all, if you're not landing hits, it doesn't matter how high your DPS is. Short range slashes your maximum range in half and adds drastic change to your fall off damage and brings a heavy thermal load increase as well, but also adds the highest damage increase available even higher than overcharged. This mod is a great choice for up-close brawlers who can stick to their target with ease, but is not available on frag cannons. And lastly, we have Double Shot, which is a frag cannon exclusive. Double Shot brings the highest sustained damage per second increase as it doubles your clip size and fires a burst of two volleys per shot. Similar to rapid fire on multi cannons and cannons, this mod increases ammunition consumption to achieve its highest benefits. This is an excellent choice for assassination builds. That's all I've got for this episode. Be ready for episode 6, which covers all the experimental effects available to kinetic weapons. Feel free to reach out on Twitter at FlintlockENG for any questions you might have, or post them down in the comments below. If you found anything in this video or any of my other videos helpful or educational, perhaps consider checking out my Patreon. A link can be found in the description below. Until next time, keep tinkering, Commanders!